Okay, so in this video, we're going to find 201x plus 81y equals the greatest common divisor of 201 and 81. Obviously, our two numbers here. So basically, what we're saying is there's two integers, x and y, to make this happen. And now, for, to make this happen, we need something called Bezout's identity. So Bezout's identity. So, to make that happen, the first thing we need to do is to use Euclid's algorithm. So we'll do that on this side. Okay, so Euclid's algorithm, if you check on the link in the description below, you'll see a few videos on there explaining this algorithm into a lot more detail. But basically, Euclid's algorithm, we start off with the larger number, so that's 201. And that equals something times 81 plus a remainder. So 81 times 2 is 162. And that's going to leave us 39 left over. So now what we say is 81 equals something times 39 with another remainder. So two 39s are 78. So that leaves us with a three remainder. And then now what we say is that 39 equals something times 3 with a remainder. Now we know that 13 times 3 is 39 and a zero remainder. So therefore we can say the greatest common divisor of 201 and 81 is 3. So basically what we're saying is 201x plus... 81y equals 3. That's what we're looking for. So we're looking for values of x and y to make 3. Okay, now the way to do that is to use Euclid's algorithm in backwards form. So what we say is here, 3 is the greatest common div uh, divisor. So we start off here. So what we can say is that 2 times 39 plus 3 is 81. So what we now say is that 3 equals 2 times 39 off 81. Okay, so we just jumble that around. So this goes to the front, then it's 81 minus this. And then what we can say is we know what 39 is. So 39, if I just write that here, 39 equals 201 minus 2 times 81. We can put that in brackets if we like. Okay, so now what we do is for this 39, we substitute that for that. So now what we say is 3 equals 81 minus 2 times, and then it's 201. Minus 2 times 81. Okay. So now what we have to do now, we just simplify this up a little bit. Because this is still looking a little bit untidy. So now 3 equals 81 here. So that's 1. So we could just say that's 1 times 81. And then we've got a minus 2 times a minus 2 times 81. So that would then give us another four 81s. So that equals 1 times 81 plus 4 times 81 and then minus 2 times 201. Okay, just a little bit simplification here. So 3 equals 1 and 4 is 5. Minus 2 times 201. Now just to check this is okay. 5 times 81 is 405. 2 times 201 is 402. So this is now true. So therefore what we can say is that 201 
times minus 2 plus 81 times 5 equals 3. So therefore our, our y equals 5 and our x is minus 2, which will simplify into this way. We can say 3 equals 5 times 81 minus 2 times 201. That will give us the answer to our Bazoot's identity. Okay.